Now we're going to talk about internet trolls, people who use social media to spread inflammatory and offensive material, often posting anonymously. Well, one person who has repeatedly found himself the victim of trolling is the broadcaster and naturalist Chris Packham. He's posted his own message online calling out their behaviour and asking for better protection. Frankly, I've pretty much had enough of it. People hiding in their little virtual cupboards, pumping out hatred to damage people's lives, sometimes irreparably. That's not right. It's not fair and it's not proper. Well, I caught up with him a little earlier and he told me about his experiences of internet trolling. Principally from anonymous accounts on a daily basis, I get torrents of, of hate, um, lots of lies and fake mm. news, which unfortunately, due to the way that we receive information these days, is believed by others. They don't seem to check their sources or check their facts. And this, over a period of time, has generated what I call a theatre of hate. Mm. It's not just about one or two individuals, it's about a collective of people um, who seem to sort of self fuel themselves to pick on people like myself, not just me, of course, but other campaigners too. Um, and it leads to, in the end, pretty sort of chronic stress, I suppose, mm. really. It puts a lot of pressure on friends, family, yep. charities, uh, businesses, people that I work for, are all on the receiving end of this torrent of rather unpleasant ab abuse. Well, that's it, isn't it? Because it, it becomes frightening, doesn't it, when there's such hatred involved. But I'm right in thinking it's not just online. You've even been the victim of an arson attack in your uh, very own home. Yes, indeed. So people had, a, a, for a period of time, they were hanging dead animals on my gate or throwing them over the fence. Um, we received death threats and human excrement was sent in the post and so on and so forth. Uh, police have been fantastic throughout, I have to say. They've taken all of this very seriously, given great advice. Um, but it did escalate in October when, you know, in the middle of the night, there was a, a, essentially a car bomb mm. parked up against the gates of my property, which exploded with devastating force and caused enormous amounts of damage. So. It, to that extent, um, the sort of threats and intimidation had, mm. you know, gone up, gone up a scale, frankly. I was going to say, I mean, that is on another scale, isn't it? I mean, look, Chris, I've known you for years. You, you are not afraid of making your views known. Sometimes they can be quite contentious. Do you ever think, hey, is it worth saying this out aloud online? Well, no, I don't. Um, I, I, I'm... Here, I'm, I'm on a mission, as I've already outlined. I'm trying to make the world a better place for humans, wildlife, and, and for the environment, and I've got a limited amount of time to do that. I stick to my field of expertise, if you like. I don't campaign about things which I know nothing about. What I worry about is people who are less robust than mm. I am, less perhaps determined, uh, who do suffer very, very considerable um, impacts on their life on account of this um, anonymous trolling. And I do really feel that the law ought to be changed so that the police can take more effective action when they when, when they wish to, um, that the government ought to put more pressure on social media companies to, to make them accountable. You said the police reacted really well, but you, you're pushing for that change in law. Now, when we talk about a hate crime, it tends to be when it's to do with race, it's to do with religion, um, disability, but not when it comes to having differing views. I mean, surely this is a world where free speech should reign. I mean, what does need to change? You say there needs to be another law. What does that entail? Um, there are limits to free speech. And I, 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 do you know, I've had a Twitter account for probably 10 years. I've never blocked a person. I think that if I'm able to express my views, I should listen to theirs too. So I've not blocked a single person. And you may say to me, well, that's why you get so upset about the trolling. Why don't you just block these people? Yeah. Well, in a way that goes against my very principles. But I do expect to be protected by people mm. who are threatening me and damaging my mental health, my family's mental health, my livelihood. Mm. We've lost money over this. We're buying new gates at, at, at the very least. Um, mm. th th there is a limit. And I think that that it can be a limit that, that can be you know, moderated. Just on a personal note, this is ongoing, you say it's a daily occurrence, I mean, just how do you cope and what's your advice to anyone who might be being trolled at the moment? You have to stay strong and you have to stay focused on, on the good that you can do. Um, I put out a, a video talking about my trolling experiences and I received, I won't say heartwarming, it was a lot more than that, enormous numbers of messages of support from people who do share my opinion saying, you know, just stay strong and get on with it and that 
meant a lot because very often I think that one of the other aspects of trolling is it, it, it isolates you. you. You feel very much like an individual isolated victim. Um, and really there are communities of people out there to help you. And it's really important, I think, that if you are being trolled, um, that you reach out to those communities.